Hi, this program was developed to help a friend through on how to use lists. So I'm actually using Fibonacci sequence. The reason being the Fibonacci sequence number are the sequence of numbers defined by the linear recurrency of equation itself. So I think it's going to be easier for me to use this to explain what a list is. So if I click on this button right there, there, okay, you can see if you take a good look at it, we say zero plus one is one. One plus one is two. One plus two is three, and so on. That's how the Fibonacci sequence work. I'm just let's add an average to it and a total of this. If you add all of these together, this will be the total. So, what I will do now is to take you guys straight into the development environment, and we make one of these together. Maybe you'll be able to understand more how it works. So let's start a new program right now. But before then, let's close this. We go to file new and let's import as follows as from tk you know let's import all of the following components okay so i'll call it fab underscore list so I'm just using one stone to kill two beds or even more than two beds really. Alright. So fab list. So that's meant to be fibonacci. Fibonacci and working with list. That's what I intend to do now. Dot the geometry of my application. Let's go for one thousand by 650 okay plus 200 plus zero so that's supposed to be my position on my screen so fab list want to start right here fab list dot title okay so i'm just going to call that fibonacci sequence fibonacci sequence let's let me enter list Let's just say resize, resizable, that will be zero. So it will just tick by the size already defined up here. We need to close that. Okay, now let me declare the following variables. I'm going to need my average, average output equals let's make that screen variable that's fine then I need my fab function let's copy that fab nature paste that there and enter the list that I wanted comma one one two three that'll be five really five eight eight plus 5 plus 8, that's 13, 13, 21, 34, and 55, and let's go up to 84, and there, so that's, I've actually defined my list, so all I need to do now, I will define a title, let me just call that btn info okay, equals label so this will just display my title right there okay that's my label there yep all right maybe so that you guys can see that now the next thing is maybe I should just close this let me come down here and just close my fab 
glue that fab list paste dot main loop okay so let's save this save and just leave it on my desktop fab list save so let's see if I run it what will happen nothing will happen more than just the framework okay so we now need some component to display all right so let's use let's use the text box i'm just going to call this txt maybe txt with fab or txt display okay let's say txt display okay i'd like you to display the fab list okay all right so let's say fab links comma let's specify width make that maybe 30 height make that 23 yeah maybe something like that the bg color let's go for let's go for sky blue and let's go for the border equals 16 and what about font just copy this font then and paste that right here that's too large so let's reduce this font to maybe 12 then display copy that come right down here paste that and say dot grid and let's enter that in row equals one column equals zero okay let's save and run it let's see what will happen now we have an error okay we just meant to close this and that was why there was an error so control s to save run it again unexpected indentation let's just move it back that's fine run it and there we go so we have our text input in place all right so close that now let's come in here and let's take care of we need two more or four more components really but first thing first let's take care of this list okay the font I'm going to call it have a list I suppose you will recognize that so I'm talking to my friend out there okay now that's the name of that function let's say function let's give it a local variable of total no let me leave that out for now okay let's say total sum of it I'll be coming back to that later on I'll just comment it out Fibonacci close that comment that out I don't need that for now but I want to display the following so let's use for for I in the range so can you lean so that means count whatever is in there so count the fab function I think it's in uppercase okay let's make it uppercase okay count the fab function the bracket because it's too bracket there then let's say txe display dot insert end comma i comma then let me go for tab tab and let me come let's come in here and comma again let's go for tab tab comma and 
the fab I I'll close that close so right here I'm just gonna copy this is that right underneath here and there just enter new line new line two new lines that will do okay now we need a trigger function to make this happen so for my trigger function let me just call it btn btn rb list so btn rb list equals button fab list this one this very one here is that in there and right there I just speed it up that is my buttons okay you can see it calling the command let's look at the command add the list right there so when I run it let's run the program take a good look at this list first come here run the program click on this button there it's just listed the Fibonacci sequence now let's try and add up all of these let's add it up enter the total somewhere here and also find the average okay your Fibonacci can keep going let's say if I take up this you can add this together when you add this together what would that give you 139 okay you can continue like that if you choose to so let's run it to see what will happen okay right there click on this you can see it is up to 139 and we can continue if we want all right so I'm just going to put this back okay but if I run it now it's either increase my increase the length of these or you can just scroll to see the rest of it All right so I'll leave it like that or just increase the length if you want to where is the length here yeah, let's make that 24 and see what will happen run it right maybe 25 would be much better then okay that is it 25 let's see what will happen okay but the buttons is not foolish it's not showing fully so let's increase this let's make it 670 and maybe reduce this to about 18 so that should do it really okay there we go that's a little bit much better all right so let's come back in here here right here i need some average and so on so i'll just pick that up okay those are i have four different component there i have a label i have entry okay another label entry as well so all together is four so if i run it now there we go guys so I will have my average up there and the total will be showing here okay so we can we can then we can then sum up the average right here and the total there so back in the code here you guys still remember this let's take up the comment and right there I will now enter as follows txt total dot insert and comma total there so that is for my total then the other one would be for the average so I can just say average 
that's my variable this equals sum it's a function called sum fab fab oh. then we divide that by lean so the lean function is to count how many items we have on the list right there so now let's use average which is another total out another another variable average output equals convert it string and what you convert into string is just the average and then txt average paste that in there dot insert okay just wanted to insert paste that there insert average output this very one copy paste it there and that's all there is to it and all of those will appear in here so if I run it now and click on my button right there you can see the average and the total of Fibonacci sequence using the list function so with that my friend and my viewers out there I suppose you guys enjoy it I just call it the end of this tutorial okay just before I go let me show you the codes one more time those are the lines of codes okay now bring it down there that's all that make up that beautiful tutorial so say bye for now